spoiler alert, if you guys are not caught up, do not watch this interview yet. I'll be here waiting for you. Hey guys, I'm Brandi Chang for the Red Carpet Report. We're here at a Teen Wolf fan event, talking to some of the cast members and finding out about season 3A and 3B. First of all, I want to talk about the depth of the show because I'm sitting there in the panel discussion over there and the fans are asking such deep questions. That's great question. You guys have so much going on in the show. What, I guess, inspires you? Um, we do a lot of research, so I'd say research inspires us. Uh, as a writer in TV, I'd say deadlines inspire me. <laughs> so, um, but we want to give the show some depth, yes. We don't, we don't want it to be just an action show or just a horror show. We try to give some meaning, some truth. We try to really delve into the characters' minds and their hopes and fears and dreams. I think it makes for better drama, but it also makes for something that resonates, hopefully. Uh, we kind of, since we have a young audience, we, we, we take that very seriously. Um, and it, it, it does affect our decisions sometimes, but um, mostly we're there to try to tell a good story. And I would say you do. What's your background with mythology? Because there's a lot of mythology in the storyline. Um, well, I did, a, I would credit my education probably. Uh, I went to Vassar College in New York. It's a very liberal arts school. And I, part of growing up for me was doing a lot of reading and, and reading uh, novels where they were really well researched and I just had a fascination with, with different kinds of mythology and different kind of real stories and I always love when there are these like factoids that find their way in and it's real and it's all true. Um, when I did Criminal Minds, uh, the, uh, the first season in the pilot, uh, they came up with a nickname for it. They called it Jeff Davis Fun Facts. Cause, really? Yeah. Because there were always these, I these little ideas that people would come up to me and they'd be like, is that true? I'm like, yeah, it's true. That's cool yeah. that you can incorporate that. It's a little yeah. bit of a history lesson, right? Yeah. And it actually, it makes the, uh, it makes the viewer feel like a kind of armchair detective, almost, when they, 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 they learn something. Right. Yeah. Well, what's it like to be here today with, with such dedicated fans? And you obviously have created such a, a beautiful show and an incredible show. And to actually watch fans interact with you know, the cast members and to get the chance to interact with cast members. What, what is that like? Uh, I love it. It's a, it's really nice to see people who love the show so much. I just had a really nice conversation with people putting together a convention. Um, and uh, it's, it's pretty rewarding. And it's nice to see people that take the show seriously. They don't just treat it like a, a guilty pleasure. I heard Shonda Rhimes say something about Scandal once that feels very true. And she says, I hate it when people call it a guilty pleasure. That means it's like junk food. Right. And she says, I don't... She, she's like, I don't write junk food. I, and you want you want your show to be like that. You want it to have meaning to some people, or even even if it just offers them an escape too. Yeah. So it's nice to see a lot of people react like this. What does this show mean to you? Um, it, to be honest, it means that I can keep doing something I love, and it also means uh, I take my job as I'm I'm the showrunner and executive producer, which means I'm basically the CEO of a company of about three to four hundred people and it means I can keep all those people employed and keep them happy on a show that they love working on. So I take that, uh, I have a lot of pride in that. That's awesome. Yeah. Speaking of, killing off people, yeah. everybody on the panel was saying like, oh my gosh, am I going to get killed off? Am I going to get yeah. killed off? And you were saying that people will come up to you and ask that all the time. What is that like to have people constantly come up to you and be like, am I going to die? <laughs> yeah. Well, uh, at a certain point you want to you, you, you want to say because you like them as actors and as people, no, I would never kill you off. I need you on the show. And then we start to talk in the writer's room and we start to think maybe it would be a good storyline. <laughs> so, is it hard to find that balance? It is, yes. I wouldn't say we're like Walking Dead where they, kill, they seem to kill someone off every week. But uh, I personally love Walking Dead. Um, and I love the fact that the show has that liberty to change things up. And um, with a show like this, it's a genre, so you, uh, it's, it's a thriller, so you do have to keep the stakes up. You do have to keep the stakes high, and that threat needs to be there. So um, it's, a, it's, hard to, uh, it's hard to decide. Can you give us a little tease to uh, 3B? For 3B, I would say, um, hmm, let's see, yes. Uh, this is a big tease. Uh, not everyone is going to make it out alive to the point where we will be changing the main title sequence. Really? Yes. <laughs> that is quite the tease. Yes. <laughs> and I want to I want to shift over to sh social media really mm -hmm. quick because yeah. obviously fans have a huge involvement with the show on social media on Twitter what it, whatever it may be talking to the cast. Mm -hmm. How has that changed the landscape as a showrunner for you? Do you look at the comments, look at the tweets, and everything like that? We do. Um, we have looked a lot, and we get reports back of here's what the fans are saying online. Uh, 
but you sort of have to take into account um, there's a, we, we had a long conversation with the network at a certain point about who actually talks about the show on Twitter. What portion of the fan base is that? And there's a portion of the fan base that is very heavy online, and then there's a portion of the fan base that uh, just watches the show. I mean, I find my, I'm, I myself uh, am very present online. I've never once written in a forum, though. And I've never once written comments in, in anything. Um, so. I know that there are a lot of people like that, so you have to, you can't, I don't think you can let it guide the, the writing or, or change the show. I always feel that um, when I talk about it with the writers in the writer's room, we have to um, please ourselves first as viewers. And if we can do that, then hopefully the fans like it as well. If they don't, then then uh, the show gets canceled. But, I'm going to uh, say based on tonight's event, they definitely are like Yeah. <laughs> well, we seem to be doing something right. Yeah. Definitely. Well, thank you so much. Thank you. All right, guys, thanks so much for watching. If you like this video, hit like. And for more interviews, subscribe. And leave me a comment below and let me know if you could be a were something, so like a werewolf, what would you be? I would be a were cat. Where? No?